During the conquest of the Philippines and Americas, the Spanish tried to bring plant species of the highest economic and nutritious value from the tropics. Once in the peninsula, many of them didn't survive the winter. And so Carlos III, the king of Spain, saw the need to find a place to acclimatize them. This bust, made by the sculptor Cejas Saldivar, shows us the image of Don Alonso de Nava y Crimón, the Marquis of Villanueva del Prado, who took responsibility for creating and founding this zoological garden in 1788 in the valley of La Orotava in the island of Tenerife. In 1983, the garden, the heritage site of the Spanish state and the second botanic garden to be planted in the country, changed hands to the autonomous community and today is maintained by the Canaries Institute of Aquarian Studies. It consists of a 20,000 square meter exhibition area and throughout its existence it has been visited by specialists from the world of botany who have contributed to the enrichment of the garden for which it now boasts more than 1,500 different plant species. The garden is visited daily by many students from different disciplines and crowds of tourists as well as sector professionals. In the year 1997, the garden of La Orotava received over 420,000 visitors. Besides its historic value, the botanic garden has a very important scientific value due to a variety of features, extensive documentary coverage, a gene bank and a herbarium equipped with the necessary technologies. This is the Garden Plus Bank, in which we include the seeds to keep them for a long period of time. The dehydratation of the seeds using silica gel, we have introduced them in these vials where they will be preserved. In this case, we are in a 4 grade fridge because they are seeds which would be in use under conservation is for a short time. The herbarium is the place where representative pieces of plants that are interesting, especially for the taxonomical and the chronological studies, are deposited. Here you can see a representative sample of the species Endropotherium melendesis, which Sventenius used as example to describe it as a new species for the science. It is important as original material, as typus, and which conservation is significant for these species. In this little library, we include principally ancient botanic works with historical character. One significant example is one of the original copies from the first edition of the natural history of the Canary Islands by Webb and Waterloo. The quality of the plant life you can experience in the garden is unique. And its variety is not seen only in the presence of tropical species, but also in the breeding of traditional species from the Macaronesia region, which includes the Canary Islands. We begin our journey on the main plateau, where we are created by the bald cypress or Taxidium pisticium. And to the right we may see the Himalayan fig plant or fig auriculata. If we continue down the pathway by the main corridor, we are met by the fig of Lord Howe or Ficus microphylla of the subspecies Columnaris whose roots are exposed and tubular in shape, capable of spreading on the grand scale. And to our left we find the laurel or Apollonias barbujana. Our curiosity is aroused as we discover the small paths which lead to the stunning species, sparkling with bright colors. We have arrived 
the garden's main pond, and observing the strange fruit which belongs to the bread fruit tree, and therefore ask the experts about the most famous collections and the methods of care. The best represented groups in the garden are the palms, the araceae and the bromeliads. The araceae need much light, also they can take directly sunlight. We search and try to put them under the shadows between the plants from the garden or careers that were made for it. We now reach the pond of aquatic plants, where the exotic shapes and colors of the lilies and the nymphaea species stand out. Here we met the director of the zoological garden of La Orotava, the botanist Don Manuel Fernández Galván, so that he can tell us about the current extension projects. The enlargement of the garden is to increase the exhibition area in 40,000 quadrat meters. The building work is based on the sanitation of the enlarged area to place there the new garden. The current stage consists in building a pavilion for visitants and another surface that will move 4,500 cubic meters of water with streams, a lake and a waterfall of 12 meters of height next to the pavilion. It has another subterranean, subterranean surface with three holes one for exhibitions, another for audiovisual presentations, and the last one is a laboratory for school trips. It is an open building without stairs, where the different levels are connected with ramps and lifts, and that ends in a big terrace with restaurant. The zoological garden of La Orotava in the island of Tenerife is and will continue to be a whole world waiting to be discovered.